Hello all, this is Chris or Topher C. This is the promised video tutorial on how to use the OR Engine app. Um, I put out a request to Twitter and had one person come back and say they'd like to see Darth Vader, so here we go. So this is the app uh, for folks who haven't seen it. It's at orroller.heroclap.com. This is basically an app for creating, editing, managing, and uh, and playing with uh, one roll engine characters, mostly focused on wild talents and the supers. So we'll go over to the about page, uh, a little bit of information about the app there, and there we'll go and sign up. So we're just going to create a brand new, so I'm going to put demo, and create a little password there, email, not actually used by the app, but we'll just set ourselves up. So we're starting from nothing here. So we've got a brand new uh, user, no characters. This is the open character roster. So let's get started. We're going to create a new Wild Towns character, and the character is Darth Vader. Let's do this really quickly. Assist Lord. I the one prep I did is I went out and grabbed a nice little file of Darth Vader. So we'll have him there. He's not finalized for play, and we're going to add him to the open roster. So he is a cyborg mystic, which means he gets his power from a couple of ways. Uh, he gets his power from technology, and also probably from, let's call it life force. That sounds very force-like. Permission, so he's got basically a, we'll say prime specimen, and that's going to let him have hyperdice and things like that in his stats. That's from his cybernetic body. And then we'll also give him the power theme, and that's going to be the force. In terms of intrinsics, Darth has got on healing. I think we'll probably leave the rest there. Let's leave him on healing at level 1. And that's just in case you want to multiply it. So Darth Vader, in terms of his body, he's pretty high up there. Cybernetics. Uh, we'll give him an athletics of 3. Block of 4. Brawling of 3. Endurance of, well, he wheezes a lot, so let's give him a two. And we'll give him a, a melee weapon skill of, let's make it a four, and we'll make this light saber. Charm, I think uh, he's solid for a one. Doesn't lie too much. Terrible performance, not really good at persuading. Luke, I am your father. Who thought that would work? Uh, in terms of command, though, he's pretty good at interrogation, really good at intimidation. Um, a, you know, I'll say he's got his own special style of leadership there and is pretty much a rock in terms of uh, what would phase him. Coordination, we'll say he's still got a little bit of dexterity there. Uh, and driving, so we'll use this as a... Actually, we'll leave it. He doesn't really do too much. For, uh, we'll give him two. Uh, range weapon, don't seem to use a blaster too much, but it used to be a crack shot, so let's give him a two. And just put that to blaster. Stealth, don't think he does much with stealth. So he was never too, too bright, so we'll give him that. We'll give him a two in terms of the force. Uh, languages, medicine, navigation. Again, he hires people to do that kind of stuff. Um, Streetwise, survival, we'll give him a, a three. And taxes, we'll give him a three. Sense, thinking just in terms of the force, we'll give him a three. Empathy, We'll give him a zero perception to and scrutiny to. And that's the basic stuff. Now over here, if we wanted to give him extra hitboxes, we could do that here. Um, but for now, we'll just kind of make this a pretty basic uh, Darth Vader. So we'll save that. And we have Darth Vader. So this is the basic character. Uh, so you've got the archetype, you've got the base will and willpower calculated. You've got all the stats and uh, all of the skills that we edited right there. Now one of the things, we gave him driving, but really he's not much of a driver, he's more of a pilot, so we're going to add a new skill. It's going to pilot and we'll give him uh, four dice and pilot, we'll give that a specialization and it'll be starfighter. Now under skills, when you're creating a new one, you can use the options from Carabos Club. So these are, is the skill free, is it a narrow skill which will reduce the cost to one point per die, is it flexible which means you can use it with different stats, does it give you influence, none of this applies to Starfighter Pilot but we are going to give that to him. And so under coordination now Pilot Starfighter shows up there. 
in terms of his body and things like that, I think we'll leave it. I don't see him having a body of six dice. He's really strong, but uh, but not superhuman per se. So now we're going to try and do his powers. And of course, he's a Jedi, so this is one of the big things. Now, I've started this from scratch, but I have made a bunch of other characters from before. And so from here, we can select from the list of open powers that have already been created. So some of these might be appropriate. In fact, I know one of them is uh, telekinesis at 8 points per die. So this is an ADU power. Uh, we'll give it to him at 7 normal dice. And he's pretty much a Jedi Master, so we'll give him one wiggle die. And that seems like a pretty good amount to me. So we'll save that. And this basically imports the telekinesis power that was already created with attacks, defense, and useful. So we have attack, TK, crush. 3 points of die, range of 1.2 kilometers, mass of 3.2 tons because it's got an extra power capacity, defend, which is telekinetic shield or throwing things out of the way, and useful, allowing him again to kind of move around 3.2 tons. Um, so this seems like it's pretty good, except I'm pretty sure I've seen him lift and do stuff with more. So we're going to edit the power. We're going to go in, I think the attack and defense is useful is pretty solid but we're going to go here and put uh, no upper no upward limit there so we're going to modify that and we will save so that of course is going to increase the cost to 10 points per die 110 points for that but that also means he can spend his willpower to boost up the mass that he's using with useful quite significantly so looking at other powers from the list we have here um, you know, banishing, flight, and things like that, I don't think really work. But he does have a bit of armor on him, so let's see if there's something around there that we can use. Um, wraith form doesn't really fit, invulnerability probably doesn't fit. Hard armor, I don't think he's quite got. So let's look at... Mm -hmm. Let's look at spirit armor. So we're going to say, we'll give him two hard dice and spirit armor. We'll save it. And again, the neat thing about the power repository and the character repository is you can basically, if people make their content or their work open, anyone else can use it. So I can then come in here and I'm going to change this to body armor. Two hard dice. Uh, we're definitely not going to give him LAR 4, but we'll give him LAR 1. So we keep the deduration, well actually it's our exaggeration. Um, for him it's probably permanent. Uh, armor defense though is still, and it is no longer attached. So we need to make some of these tweaks. Um, and so from there, what else do we want to do? Let's just drop that to zero. We'll give him our two protection. Oops, and right there. And we'll save. So this gives him his body armor, 4 points per die, 16 points for LAR 2. And then we can go in after that and we'll add it to the body, uh, to his hit locations. So right now we've got, he's strong, he's got some solid armor, he's got telekinesis that he can use to do all sorts of stuff, but now he can do some other stuff. And I didn't see anything on the list, so we're going to go right in and we're going to put, um, let's put telepathy. So he's not quite as good at this. He seems to do more throwing things around. But we'll say Darth can use the force to read and communicate with others from far away. All right, so this is obviously useful. Um, so it's going to be communicate, range. And we're going to give this booster because you can do it from quite a ways away. So we'll do that. Um, he, you know, he's got to put his hand to his head. He's got to be kind of quiet when he's doing it. So I think we can probably find some uh, some flaws to add in here. Um, mental strain might do it. A little more slow though sounds like a good thing. So it takes him a bit of time to actually use the telepathy. Um, what else can he do with that telepathy? Um, he can see the future. So actually, sorry, we're going to just make this the force. So communicate. So we're going to make this another useful, and this is um, precognition. 
so you can see what the heck's going on in the future. This, he can only do it for himself. Um, in terms of the usefulness, so we'll say flaws. So we're going to give a custom flaw, and we'll say it's worth one point and affected by emotion. So if he's thinking about his dead ex-wife, well, sorry, uh, dead love who he happened to kill, he's not going to be able to do a lot very clearly with his precognition, but otherwise it's a pretty standard useful quality. Uh, we could throw in no extra limit to let him go kind of further or, uh, or further into the past or future, but we'll kind of leave it at that. And we'll give another one. Let's make this, um, so what else can you do with the force? You can see the future, you can communicate with people from far away, and we'll just put sense force. So basically he can feel disturbances in the force, and with that we'll make it uh, a range thing, we'll give that a booster, but it's also kind of an if-then, uh, so limited to major or local disturbances. And we'll leave it there. So we can go and add more qualities, and if we have more than four qualities that we want to add, we can save it and then go back in and add it. We are going to archive this so then anyone else will be able to kind of pick it up and start to use it. And then we have um, the force down here at three levels of useful. Now the last thing we're going to do as part of this demo is look at a lightsaber. So this is a special weapon. Uh, so it's a lightsaber. Um, we are going to give it. We we'll give it ten dice normally, and this is going to be an attack. Okay, and laser sword. Uh, we'll give this two extra levels. The capacity is going to be self, and it's going to have penetration. We'll give it penetration three. It seems to cut through quite a lot of stuff and any other extras that we should be using for it. It doesn't really burn, it is very deadly, but we're already buying it as an attack. So I don't think we need any extras there, but we will go over here. And uh, it has no range, actually, so touch only. We'll put on. So this gives him a laser sword. Now we're also going to give it a focus. And the focuses are all in here. And the fact that it is, it is not attached, it has a... Um, okay, so one that's accessible so that people can take his focus away from him. And the other one that I'm looking for here is not full power only, not irreplaceable. Um, operational skill. So this basically means he will be using his lightsaber skill versus the actual dice in this. So. Uh, a lightsaber is a weapon that does width plus 2 SK with penetration 3. And we'll save that as its own item. So there you have it. So we have a lightsaber which is worth 20 points. Uh, Darth is 372 points. Again, we'll make a couple of super little tweaks, so we'll go into edit. We'll go over here, we'll give him his light armor 2 in all locations. And over here as well, left leg, right arm, and one more. And that's good there. The other thing we'll do is he's been around for a bit, so despite the fact he is not terribly charming, We'll give him 8 base will, and we'll give him 12 willpower, so we'll update that there. And this gives us Darth Vader, so we've got his light armor, and we've got his hit locations, we've got his powers, and from here you're pretty much ready to play. Normally I'd tweak this a bit more, but for a quick demo of what the app does, here you go. Um, you can add hyper skills again by going in here and clicking on the plus hyper. Uh, you can then go in and roll the skills, it gives you the matches, you can roll several times, you can add in a certain number of rolls, which takes, gives you the multi-die penalty. Um, you can roll uh, with multiple actions, spray, go first, all of that, or return to the character. And there you have it. So now heading back out to the open roster at the bottom, because we added Darth Vader, 
is over here. And the last thing I'll show is if I suddenly decide I would like to do something else with the Dark Knight, I can click one button, add him to my roster. I'll need to redo his picture because I didn't copy that over as well. But then I can say, here's my Batman picture. I'll open that, I will update, and then when I go to my personal roster, I have both Darth Vader and the Dark Knight, which is entirely appropriate. So there you go. That is how the app works. Uh, quick demo, I hope it's useful and my voice is not too annoying. And uh, let me know what you think if you have any questions and or any feedback or ways to improve the app. Thanks.